Hi people, my name is Peter, I'm the Pershaw Potter, because I seem to be the only one about, there may be others and if there are, I apologise for stealing your title. This series of short YouTube videos is merely to get you making something with clay, and anything I can do to help, I will do with the greatest of pleasure. These three items here, this pot, this whatnot holder, and this little turtle were all made completely by hand. No pottery wheel, no moulds, no nothing, just made by hand. Lump of clay and these two. In fact, a lot of that and that, and not much of these. So, you don't need anything really to do this. You need a lump of clay, which I'll show you in a minute. If you come from Pershaw and you drop me a line through the YouTube channel or my Instagram, uh, we'll arrange something and I can let you have some clay. You can pick it up from my house. We will all be safely COVID distanced and no germs will change hands, I hope. Okay, so here we are. You've got your stuff laid out. It's all nice and clean. Um, notice my hands going white with the clay. This is called white earthenware. Its proper name is CWE. And it's brilliant for all sorts of things. But you can use any kind of clay you like. So what we do is, having formed this blob, we stick our thumb in it. Like that. It's that easy. We stick our thumb in it. Okay, sometimes if you make a pot, these are called thumb pots. It's an American way of putting them. Look at that. Almost got a tortoise right there. Okay, so we... You don't want it too thin in the beginning when you start. Oh, by the way, look at this. See that? That cracks comes from the fact that this is drying out a little. So we might get a bit of water from somewhere uh, and smooth it over. You don't want it really to crack because it looks ugly. Let me go and find some water. I'll be back. Don't go away. Okay. Sound of approaching Potter. And sits down and fails to fall over, which is always a good thing. So what have you got here? And an earbud, which is good for all sorts of things, including getting it wet. We'll just lay some water on here to help to smooth it out okay um, you could use a paintbrush um, what if you like anything that gets water on it by the way I'm a great follower of Bob Ross the joy of painting man I think he's wonderful because he says there are only such things as happy little accidents okay it's not the perfection of what you do is how much you enjoy the process. So, in fact, you can just do that and go, hey, I made a pot. There you go. Well, a lovely pot. I like that pot. That's fine. Okay, some of you will have been watching Jason Grayson Perry's art club thing. Okay. I hope there's another one because then you can enter your pot in it. Okay, we're getting a bit of a crack, but not too fussed about that. So let's get this the right size. Let me put this water out of the way. So here's number one. Um, he was an offshoot of a pot I made, um, asked for by a lovely lady in Edinburgh called Mariana, and she wanted me to make her a pre-Columbian pot. 
had to look it up. I'm really sorry, but I didn't know much about them, but they're quite fun. Look it up yourself. You can find a pretty Colombian pot. Anyway, so, and one minute, I was sort of a bit tired of working on the big pot. So I just picked up a piece of clay, and that was the result. I'm not that clever, right? I am an aging male who didn't go to university and has only been doing pottery on and off for 20 years because he had some spare time. Okay. I'm nothing special. I haven't done the, co I've done a couple of courses but over the time. Um, so there we go. All right. So what's the difference? Nothing right now. Okay. So let me go and get out a piece, another piece of clay and we'll do some more work on it. Okay, so we're back. Another piece of clay. By the way, telling you when your clay is starting to dry out is often quite easy because this clay feels cold to my hand, whereas this clay is cool. So it's the evaporation of the moisture which is causing that clay to dry out and making it warmer. So what we're doing... Oops. Where are you going to? So what we're doing is Without any tools at all, we are now making the underneath of the turtle, tortoise thing, all right? And we want it fairly thin. In the beginning, you want to try and make all the bits about the same thickness. It just makes sure that when you fire it, it doesn't crack. Okay, as I say, you've got a pot already, actually. You don't have to worry about anything. But turn it upside down, and it's a turtle, or the beginnings thereof. So, we've got the bottom here, and we'll put that on top. And look at it, that looks about right. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to find the knife and the fork that I took from the kitchen. By the way, it's much better if you get permission to do this as far as a knife and fork is concerned. But you can use a piece of wood or a stick or anything you like. These are supposedly rejects. So, and we can cut it round to make it about the right size as the bottom. Whoops. You see it starts to shift around a bit because it's still wet. Clay is wonderful stuff. So we've got here, now we're not done yet, so we take that off. And then what we do is, it's known as slipping. So in this water here, right, dip my finger in the water, we're going to do that. And here's the fork. And I'm going to make little scratch marks. By the way, even better than a fork is an old toothbrush. In fact, I'm going to go and find one now. You see, making pottery is an iterative process. You do a bit and you go, oh, hang on, I want so-and-so, and you rush off and you get it. But don't worry, that lets you think in the middle. Okay, talk amongst yourselves and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. We're back. I bought with me, which I found in the kitchen, a kebab stick, in case I want to make any scratch marks. Old toothbrush, okay, don't worry about the brand, other brands are available, cheaper the better, or used, um, yeah, that's good enough, um, there may be some brand placement here, but I'm not being paid for it, it just happens to be what I'm using, all right, so, we wet the toothbrush, Oops. you see, I haven't got a full setup here, so I'm not very good at it. All right, and we go scratchy, scratchy. And you can see we make a very wet clay mud. And we do the same on this side, just to help it all come together. There we go. All right, we're not really that fussed if it's not perfect. Because it's your tortoise. 
piece of used tissue. Again, get all the free water out of there. Oh, time of COVID, don't use old tissue. Right, pick it up. Plonk it down. Oh, it's made another little pattern there. Right. And now we pick it up. Now, let me tell you a little something. One of the reasons that we use paper or indeed an old t-shirt on the table and if you're really clever what you do is you find a piece of wood or hardboard or anything uh, probably better not ceiling board or um, wall board but get a piece of board of some size so it's easy to work on we slip that inside the old t-shirt gather it up at the bottom and make a nice little firm surface to work on. Okay, half time break. Grab a cup of tea and come back just now. Otherwise, if you're still going, just keep on watching and we'll carry right on. Okay, so at this stage, we're going to take this, we're going to push it together. You see how the water squidges out with the slip, as it's known. In other words, the wet clay mud. And we seal that off just like that. And if we dry it at the right speed, then it won't come off. It becomes a single piece of clay. We'll clean all of this off, by the way. Don't worry about that too much. Yeah. And remember, just like Bob Ross said, you can only have happy little accidents. Okay. It's just the clay telling you what it wants to see. Already I'm making up a, a little sludge of clay here, which is helping to seal. You want it to seal. Now the clever ones amongst you are going to say, aha, Mr. Potter, we've got you now. Because we've closed a capsule of clay with air on the inside. You're quite right, that's exactly what we've done. Oh, by the way, interruption on my Randall. Um, we can also just roll it round like that. Brilliant, eh? With the air trapped inside, as I've said, it actually supports it. So it's all nicely supported. We can tap it a bit with our finger to get the shape we want. And then, taking the end of our wonderful skewer, we skewer the inside. And that gives somewhere for the air to escape from. Notice, he too has a little skewer hole. Okay. So we've done that. Now, if you want to be patient, and you don't have to be because you can make another one of these in less time than it takes to tell the story. If you want one of these, then we can get a piece of this clay and we'll squash it up again. And we'll maybe add a tiny drop of water just to make it a bit looser. The wetter it gets, the more difficult it becomes to handle. And we can give Mr. Tortoise, making sure we've got all the creases out. And, um, give him a head. About there. Should we say about there? Yeah, I think that's good. Actually, I probably could have got away. Uh, I think we're going to slip that. Wipey, wipey, wipey. Slippy, slippy, slippy. Whack it on. Don't even have to buy glue. Don't worry about these smears. They will get them off later. So, that's him there. And, looks for more clay. Just a little pinch. That's all you need. What we're going to do is to try and get them all the same size. 
I'm still getting used to doing this in front of the camera. So we're going to take this and we're going to roll it a bit flat. Roly poly. And then taking a knife or a blade or even a piece of credit card, cut it in half. And because a tortoise has four legs, cut it in half again. And cut it in half again. And these little four things we roll into a little round ball. You can always practice this, by the way. We can just join them all up again together and then start again. So there. And again there. It's a new second challenge for great clay bake-off thing. Make 400 little round balls. Okay, so, oops, we've done something to his head and put that back again. It will stick, by the way, it's just because it's all a bit wet. That is the disadvantage of having too much water, by the way, is that it takes a while for the things to grow. You may want, if you've got time for a bit of a break, you may want to just support the head there. And this stage, if you cover it with a piece of plastic, shopping bag, whatever, like the light shopping bags are great, or these lightweight uh, bin bags, also great. Uh, you just cover it with that, and it will stay pretty much dry. Anyway, so this guy's ready, so what we're going to do is turn it over like that, and we're going to mark out the little footies, with the toothbrush, we're going to go, let's have a look, where did we do it there? Oh, that seemed to work all right. So we've got foot here, whoops, foot there, foot there, foot there. Right, so we've got water. And we can take the sharp end of the stick and go wibbly wobbly. Look, see we're making some slip. Don't want to do too much, but that's enough. Slip is glue. That's all it is. Slippers glue. And there we go. I've seen a fair amount of tortoises upside down in my time. Oh, don't like that. And wank. Boink, if you like. Boink again. Boink again. Rear port leg, rear starboard leg. Okay, there we go. You know what? Oh, we might be move it up. We can put him back on it right way around now. Now, really, whoops, what's happening? Although it's still a bit wet, that's done apart from a bit of decoration. So what we're going to do now is we're going to leave Mr. post columbian Tortoise Turtle if I can disengage this without too much trouble. There we go. post columbian Turtle thing. And we can leave it to dry certainly overnight without any trouble at all in this weather. Okay, if you're living in Africa, you probably need about two hours, that's all. If you're living in Arizona, you could probably already start to do the next stage. Anyway, so there you go. It's sort of ready. And there's his brother. And take care. And I'll see you in the next episode when we clean up the tortoise and make some decorations. Take care.